Hi, Brian. Oh my gosh. PJ. It's the day. Do you have my shit? No. Actually, yes. I have something really exciting. I, it better have a big, pretty blue L one. Looks like you've got enough piled Maybe. up already. Oh, that's I better that's, have that's a long somebody, box. That's somebody else. I know I've got, it's, I got it's the day. It's the day. It's the right day. here. So I was waiting for you. And we picked you a special set. Got my name on it. Well, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Handwriting. That's almost like an autograph. So we're going to get to put these in today? I think we're going to try to put these in today. I've been looking forward to seeing them. And oh, right here is our chart. Yeah. So does this tell us? This is our instructions we talked about before. They've always, man, I love their better colorful better big numbers. Uh, that's all I can do is I need pictures. Mm -hmm. Very dyslexic. There's nothing worse than bad instructions. Yeah, color by numbers. That's what it's all about. Yep. So these are the legends. That is not fucking the legend Axios. at all, man. No, this is, is the this? new Axios right here. <laughs> this is the new titanium sleeve. This is not what I, and, this, this uh, is not what I'm promised, man. But you feel the spring rate we yeah. got here, right? Yeah, let's no, this see is this. the new stuff. We put the nitrogen in in the back. Oh, you do? Yeah, well, I got a can. You got your own bottle. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. uh... So what's the uh, plan behind this? Well, we're going to install this into your motorcycle Is this today. out of yours? No. no I, I'm no, kind of no, wondering because it's... This it is hasn't, just for you. It, it hasn't been used much. <laughs> this is... The, oh. <laughs> this is just for you. I mean, you know, brand new right. dampener rod. You're, you're set up. You're ready to go, buddy. Hey, guys. Come on up here to Denny's Harley-Davidson where they will absolutely say you this for legends and we'll, i better not say that i was fixing to get off on something but we can't even say that i was like we're gonna get in trouble no we got the good stuff coming for you yeah hit us up we're heading to the back of the shop let's right. get this done so you've got my so shit you can go to start just, i got your real stuff okay. back let's go what a day <laughs> and today on this video we're going to be installing the front end from legend suspension looking forward to it it's going to be totally tubular Legend. Good ride. Legends. Comfort. Legends. Yes, One sir. word. Awesome. Legends. Phenomenal. Oh, fancy. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, this is a long time coming. I am ready to get this Legends front end on the bike. We've had it sitting here for a little bit, but due to COVID and everything else, we weren't able to get it in. So today's the day up here at Denny's where we install the front end. And when I say we, it's Chad. Chad's gonna install the front end to the road glide. From here, we're gonna ride up to Sturgis. So from Springfield at Denny's up to Sturgis on the Legends front end. And we've got the Revo A on the rear. So this thing is gonna be a handling machine. Let's see, I've never rode with them. I'm sure it So on, on your forks, we're going to do a complete oil change. Of course, they come with their own oil. Yeah. And we're going to do a seal change. Okay. Uh, I don't know this. It's not necessarily completely change all the seals and bushings every time you do one of these kits. Okay. Maybe just in this case, we are. Good. It does tell you the instructions that if you think it needs it to go ahead and inspect oh, them course. and to change them. Yeah. So, but we're doing the whole shebang. Okay. And then you're going to set me up with one turn. We are. Uh, it comes with a chart. Okay. And if you look at the chart, it's rated out on on weight uh, our common weight is zero or one turn so you okay. guys do a lot too up riding so i mean that's gonna put you in that range yeah i think that versus about, uh, this would be just a little be, under yeah it'd be under one. especially with your uh and yeah and I'm, I'm also curious to see what that uh, front end feels like because you know right now it kind of it'll dive on you get yeah. in traffic somebody gets over and you hit the brake you'll feel that dive well, if it changes anything like it does on the back it's definitely going to change in the front i'm excited man 
Woo, ain't that pretty. Yeah, you'll never see it again. Never see it again. <laughs> I'll put a sticker on it. about so one turn is what we're doing so sh when they say one turn what the fuck are you talking so they're bottomed out right now okay and uh we're taking this we're just going to undo the set screw and that's zero okay. and then we're going to do one full turn and that's it and then you'll come back to the flat and set your set screw okay back. it's really not that complex it's not <laughs> I was thinking like, you know, I don't know. I didn't go watch anything. We had one come in, misadjusted. We called them up. They told us how to reset back to zero. And ready to go. Video to watch. It was pretty easy to deal with. Yeah. So that's one thing that we thought they've been doing some more like educational, informational videos. They have. It's helpful. You Especially when you're in a tight spot. Especially when, uh, I, if I'd have to do it. That's, I let you do it. I bet you that's the idea. So anyway. I let you do it, and I just worry about my beard. <laughs> and this is our oil that comes with it. Came with it. And that's what you'll use from here on out. So way on later down the road, when you need to rebuild the forks or whatnot, you need to change the oil in it. This What's is the oil that you're going to do. What we had now. You had Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle oil. They say this is the oil they prefer to run in their suspension. I'm not to argue with them on it. I, I think the weight's probably different and okay. they they designed it to work. Okay. So, um, Seriously, it might all. be one of those things, of course, all you gotta do is call me and I'll tell you what it is, but yes. So, okay. in another 20,000 miles or however long it is, it's time for you to replace the fork oil. This will be the fork oil that you're okay. using here on out. You notice that Chad's got new seals back here. Yep. So it doesn't mandate that you have to do the seals, the bushings, although recommended by Legends and 100% recommended by us. So yeah. I never do this front setup without rebuilding the fork. So as it stands right now, you're going to have new Teflon coated bushings. You're going to have new seals, new everything in it along with the oil. So we're not reusing any of that stuff. We're putting all that stuff brand new. You say Teflon. So that's a great coating that's on the outside Is of this. Is that like we cook with? Well, it might be. It comes off of our pans, kind of like it comes off of that. So, so maybe. this is what this is different than what's stock in there? No, that's stock. That's stock. But if we pulled your stock ones and looked at we it, did. we would see wear patterns on the outside of these. Okay. And as time, and they're probably not too bad now, but as time goes on, you're going to see more wear patterns, possibly even grooving. So you can see quite a bit of difference there. Okay. So again, can it be done without it? They even state in their instructions and online it can be. They don't recommend it, and I definitely don't recommend it. While you're in there, why not go one extra step, rebuild it, get the new bushings, the new fork seals, and know that you're good to go. So this is what you need to do this? This is what you need to do it. Okay. I mean, you, you need these components to do it. It comes with the oil to do it, so you don't have to buy that separately. Okay. And as you can see from all the work that Chad's doing back here, although you have really detailed instructions, it takes a technical hand to do this right. Something that we talk about a lot. So we do a lot of comparisons. If you watched our rear end shops that yeah. we did last time, we did, a, com one. Yeah, we did a comparison. Yes, yeah. of two different shocks, mm -hmm. happen to be progressive, and then legends. That's because that's what you have on hand. That's it's what I ready. had on hand. We we decided to talk options. So at that time. there's 
guys, I want to make this very clear. This is what we are doing. What you do is totally your opinion. Um, what we think is best is what we use. I believe, and I've got to know legends personally, and I believe they're the best, or I wouldn't be talking about them. Now, my opinion varies. So to somebody else, you may think progression is, progressive is the shock for everyday use or the best that's ever made, or I don't care. I'm not trying to sway you either way. We're just showing you what we use. And what we're gonna do here is do another comparison because that's what Brian has on hand is progressive and the legends. So I guess we'll get into that now. Yeah, so when it comes to progressive, they're a very good company. I don't have any problems with them. Again, we're talking about options, but something that someone definitely needs to know when looking at the options when you go with progressive, this would be the same kit for your motorcycle. Okay. So you notice that you're seeing less items than what you saw when we opened up the other box, right? Yeah. We have one cartridge and one spring. And that's, the reason for that is, is it only uses one cartridge in it. So if you were doing their set, it'd be, you'd be doing one side? You, you would be doing both sides because you would be replacing the spring in the other side. You see how beefy this spring is. You would definitely be replacing parts in the other side, but you only get one cartridge kit. Okay, okay, okay. So Legend's theory on that is if you're gonna do the front, they feel for the best performance available, we're gonna set you up with two cartridges and we're gonna balance out that front end as good as possible. Again, not saying that this is not a, a good way to go, and price point, you got a little bit less money into this particular setup, not into the labor, but into the parts. But I feel like with the Legends, you are getting two of what I feel is the main component to make this work. So right. what this reminds me of is just like the core shock, mm -hmm. shocks for the stock Harley Davidson. Yeah. So they have one that's a shock and the other one that's a... Kind of a falsy shock. A falsy. Balancing shock, I think is what I called it in the first. The first and i would say that this is kind of the same thing this is kind of like a balancing side now again i'm not an engineer with them to know exactly what they call it but we do know enough to know that we have a cartridge on one side and we got a spring to offset that on the other side okay so here's the comparison uh we'll get a close-up of the progressive front end this is for 2019 road glide yes. that we've got mm -hmm. and this is what you get this is what you get in the kit. Hmm. That's exactly right. And then, of course, we've seen earlier what we got in the Legends, which is basically two of these. Two of those. Yeah, two identical matching set of those. Well, I'm gonna take the cartridge out. Of the yeah, by all means, you can take a look at it. And then I'll it. hold the Legend up here. Can you take it off? So you guys can get a look far as difference in the cartridge. So this cartridge does not have that coal spring, I guess you'd say, because they have that big heavy one. So you're gonna see the difference there. This is on both sides of the legend. This is on one side of the progressive. And then on the other side is this spring. Is a big spring. So our whole installation today and what you guys have seen pictures of and what they've talked about is gonna be completely different um, protocol when it comes to the progressive. So if you do end up going that route, definitely going to want to look into it because it's going to be a, a different setup than what we're okay. what we're doing today okay but again we're talking options and everybody wants to know all the options it's an option well okay if we talk about options do you have say another brand of front end that you have on hand that you sell so so my deal is in my personal bike and what we sell here and we firmly believe in legends that is our favorite that's, that's cool. what's on ours that's what we keep in stock. I do keep one alternative. Now there's many other good progress or good suspension companies out there. Um, but this is what we choose to stand behind here is we really like the legends, but like most places out there, we do keep one other alternative for people if they do want to go with something different than the Legends. And of course, there's a different price points here. Different price points. So if somebody comes in and they want an upgrade to their suspension, but they, they can't go Legends and it just, it just doesn't work out, then I've got a suitable alternative that we can talk about. 
I can tell you 99.9% .9 of the time, suspension is important, ride's important, and cornering in the Ozarks is 100% important. Legends goes out our door. That's that's what we sell. Well, I mean, by what I'm used to, it's just all stock. We talk about this a lot too, guys. I never spent the money, never had the money to spend on suspension. And a lot of times it's the last thing we do because we just want to ride mm -hmm. and it's hard to break down and spend the money. We did put the Revo 8 on the rear now, totally changed the ride for Steph and I because we ride two up all the time. Uh, absolutely, we don't worry about going over bumps or hitting that rough spot in the road. Right. We, don't, we don't even think about it anymore. And that's what it's all about for me. If you spend the money, and you fix the problem and you never think of it again, you're done right. Because it's done. Exactly right. I don't know what this front end is going to be like, but I do know Chad's going to finish it up today. We're going to take out of here in Springfield, Missouri, out of Denny's Holly Davidson, and we're going to head up to Sturgis, South Dakota, and we're going to go to the Legends. And we're going to go to the plant. We're going to hang out with the boys. We're going to talk more about what they've done and what they've put into it. And I'm going to see firsthand my experience. Sure. Not sure if Steph's gonna really feel this one, well, uh, but it'll be because you never hear some. Get, will she? She'll feel some. So the scale on this is rear is about eighty percent ride. So she's definitely gonna feel the most as far as that goes. Um, doing the front, there's still some ride quality to be had as far as hitting bumps, but you're gonna have an eighty percent increase in the the cornering abilities and it's staying stable in corners and hitting bumps bumps in corners. Um, ride could definitely be something she'd feel, but I would almost bet that when you go into a corner hot and she feels your front end hop a little bit on bumps, that she feels that too. Yeah. So I think there's benefit to be had for the passenger on doing this setup as well. One thing I know Steph has said a lot, because we ride in a lot of heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. Heavy traffic, you're going to break hard. Yeah. It's just going to happen. And you can feel that front end. Yeah, you're going to have dive. And you're going to have a lot less dive with this setup. That's going to be... That's going to be, I think, because Steph will say, pull that front end. I'm like, I know, boy. You can shoom. Yeah, that's a big part of it. That's one thing that people notice right off the back is, I mean, they pull out of the parking lot. They're hitting the brakes before they get on the highway. They notice the, the brake dive right off the bat is is is, is really, really cut down. And the other thing I do want to touch on, because, of course, we're doing all this stuff. I'm asking all the questions, guys. I don't know shit. I'm learning as we and I go. I have a couple of them. Yeah, but this is one you did tell me. Okay. We're talking about height and how you set and how the bike sets on this. Mm -hmm. So you you told me, you said you may feel a slight difference in height when we put these on. You you may. So we find with this setup, because we do set to preload. Earlier you saw Chad mess with this collar here. He's setting the preload on the shock uh, based on weight. Yep. Um, so being that it does have a preloader, I think they may even uh, refer to it as a static preload. Some people will experience a little bit of drop in height. Now, so what I like to caution people, if you come in and you talk to me about the suspension and you want it lower, we really need to kind of nail down how much lower and talk about two other aspects of that because sometimes if you go with the lower on this, and the stock height really drops you down anyway, you may not really need the lower suspension in the front. It's kind of confusing, it sounds kind of crazy, but just keep in mind that this suspension is set up for preload. Stock is not set up to have preload in it. Um, we're not all the same size, we're not all the same weight. This is dialed in for you guys. It's going to set, and it's probably gonna squat just a little bit more in the front, which probably, adds up again i'm no engineer but adds up to that better handling that you're going to feel on the way to start well i mean we're talking about putting performance parts on the bike yeah so i the they've gone into the research absolutely trust, that's another thing i trust them um but it, it's a lot for somebody to trust a company with a lot of money mm -hmm. so what do we do we go on youtube we go on online somewhere we really read threads whatever we can to get the information so sure. what we're showing you today is what we're doing on our road glide and then i'm going to tell you firsthand how it felt to, to us i'm fucking you know we're gonna get we're gonna i said fuck you're gonna have to take that out but we're gonna actually really we're gonna really get to uh try this out when we get up there in the hills we got a good ride yeah, this is gonna, gonna be a prime example of it. i'm gonna get the whole feel of it i'm gonna get the whole experience the legend experience of it yeah, you're going to know before you get oh, out of Missouri. Yeah, yeah, before you get out of the Ozarks, you're going to know. But, yeah, you're definitely going to get the full 
the full nine yards as far as riding up to Sturgis and back, you're gonna know you're gonna be able to form a really, really good. Well, like once again, you know, with a Revo A on the back, I could tell a big difference. And then I drove in earlier. I know you had Revo A on the back of yours. Yes. You don't any longer. Well, yeah, I don't. That is true. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's you got some uh, canisters sticking up on the back. I of do, your I do. Uh, yeah, so I did go to the Revo Arcs yes. on the back of it. So I upgraded that. So you talked about going to a place that you trust. So when you come to Denny's Harley Davidson, we're a family owned and operated dealership. But when you look out in the parking lot, you look at our own motorcycles, Chad's own motorcycle, my own motorcycle, this is the stuff that we run. It is, and this, you you have a bike up here usually always set up with Legend Suspension always. where you can come test ride. Yeah, I try to always. I mean, I can't right. say that it doesn't sell and I have, don't have brief periods without it, but we do our best to try to keep well, a bike always a, with it. Well, we have an honorary ass member, and he we were talking about the Legend Suspension. He came up here and rode the bike that you had mm-hmm. set up that as soon as he got off the bike, he bought the suspension. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, the proof's in the pudding. Absolutely. And I can't explain it enough. If you can ever just get on the bike, a bike that has Legend suspension on it, you're going to see what I'm talking about. You just have to do it. So well, now, maybe they need to come by Denny's Harley Davidson. Yes. Test ride for themselves. We got the test rides always set up. And you're right. I mean, part of that is I'm passionate about the product. I'm passionate about making our motorcycles as good as possible. But like your friend that came up here. I knew that when he took it out, I knew that he was going to like it. I mean, you can't not like it. Um, so that that invitation's out there, guys. When you're driving through, stop in at Denny's Harley Davidson and see if we can hook you up. Yeah, because you're you're putting the front end on yours next. I right? am. Yeah. yeah, if I can get yours out of here, then maybe I've got room to put mine in here. And get yeah, that done. man. Well, I'm glad <laughs> I'm getting it done. I really am. The boys have been working their ass off here, of course, guys. This is during all the COVID shit as well, so we're going to be riding during it. Um, you guys just, we're going to take off from here, so hold on to your seats. Let's go ride this bike and see what it's all about. I'm going to be talking the whole way up about it. If you don't know who I am, I'm TJ Thompson. Behind the camera, it's Stephanie Thompson. Together, we are the honorary one, and we are teamed up with Denny's Harley Davidson right here in Springfield, Missouri. Super proud of it. Treat us good. This is my buddy, Brian Steely. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. They've also got a YouTube video. They got Instagram, Facebook. Of course, you can catch him on the website. You can call here and ask for this guy, and he'll get on the phone and talk to you. He loves to talk. He's knowledgeable. He's passionate. Go check him out. See you down here.